I've been thinking about sustainability and trying to make the odd changes here and there for a few years now. But 2020 was the year where I really knuckled down. I started to think about it in everything that I was doing and everything I was buying for that matter. Over the course of the year, I made quite a few changes, but the last few months was really where I started to up the ante and I started to get serious about making my home minimal waste. And in that time, I've really noticed a huge difference. My waste bins are going out a lot less frequently and when they do go out, they're very rarely anywhere near the top. I've been in sort of like a whittling down process. Everything that gets used up in my home is either replaced with a zero waste option or at the very least a more eco-friendly option. So I thought it might be helpful to share a few commonly used items that I have switched out. The first one is a change that I have made more recently, but I have been thinking about it for a while. And that is my fabric conditioner. I would just keep buying the same one on autopilot, every single time thinking to myself, I must find a better alternative. So I finally got round to it and it's a swap that I'm really pleased with. So the brand that I'm now using is called Tailor Made Refills, which comes in this lovely glass bottle. Obviously the look of the product is not the most important thing, but I do like when my cupboards are looking all nice and neat. The products from this brand are vegan, plant-based, they don't contain any palm oil or harsh chemicals. I found this in my local waste-free shop, which has a refill station. So once I've used this product up, I can just wash the bottle out and go and have it refilled. The scent is bergamot, grapefruit and lime, which just smells divine. Of course, not everyone's going to be able to find a refill spot for this particular brand, but waste-free shops are popping up all over the place. So it is definitely worth checking in your local area or online. If you do happen to live in the Angus or Dundee area, there are quite a few shops which have refill stations. TaylorMade Refill do have some posts on their Facebook and their Instagram for places that you can find stations. The next product is one which I mentioned way back in the summer when I first purchased it, but I am talking about it again. Number one, because I've had the time to use it and realize how hardy it is. And number two, it's actually lasted me all this time. The product I'm talking about is the Coconut Fiber Dish Scrub Pad. I don't have my one in my hands because as I say, it has been used and it wouldn't be a pretty sight. This pad is made out of coconut hair and I have found it has been so good for getting off tough marks, but it's still a lot gentler than a lot of those traditional tough pads, which means it works quite well for things like nonstick pans. And for me, it's lasted a lot longer than comparable products that I've used in the past, yet it's biodegradable. I got mine from M's Choice, who I know I talk about a lot, but it is the place that I get a number of my products from. Number three is one that's not much of a talking point in conversation, but loo roll is something that most people have in their homes. So I'll keep this one pretty brief. I have switched to this brand. So first of all, the packaging is made out of recycled paper rather than plastic. And the actual product is made out of recycled fibers. The brand is Ecoleaf, who also try to counter their carbon footprint by planting trees. Number four is something that I'm doing rather than an actual physical product. And that is buying milk in glass bottles. The glass bottles are washed and then reused. The one I buy is from a fairly local farm shop. Again, if you live in the area, then it is from the mill of Inverarity. So the milk itself for me is also locally sourced. This one won't be entirely appropriate for everyone, but then again, there are lots of these glass milk bottle delivery places popping up, and then when you reorder, they collect your old bottles. Last but not least, I have spoken about before swapping to shampoo bars, but it is one that's made a huge difference for me. Not only is the product waste free for me, but I've also found that I no longer have to use conditioner. I use the Funky Soap Butter Bar Shampoo, which again, I don't have in my hands because it is already in use. This is one that I also get from M's Choice. I think the reason that I'm not having to use conditioner anymore is because it's a natural based product and it's not stripping my hair. But aside from that, these bars last a really long time. For me anyway, but then I do have quite fine hair and it's also short. I know not everyone can get along with a bar form, so I also have a refillable glass bottle option. This brand is minimal. Again, like the fabric conditioner, it can be washed and refilled. I again have a refill station in my local waste reduction shop. 
Of course, you might not have one local to you. It's worth looking in your zero waste shops. You might find that they have a suitable alternative or they might even have this brand. This is another brand which is also vegan and cruelty free. So those are all of the things that I wanted to talk about today. Stay tuned for future videos, not just on sustainability, but also health-based content too. If you haven't done so already, it would be great if you subscribed. That way you could keep up to date with what's coming in the future.